Hello Network and welcome back. Yes, I've been gone for years, pretty much at this point. At least it feels like years. And, you know, I've been having some stuff done. And I was thinking, what is the best way to restart this thing that I'm doing? Simple, uh, by showing one of my favorite games recently that definitely, certainly is not an addiction at this point. Mm -mm, no, never. So welcome to Elite Dangerous. Uh, it's, uh, I have the little bit of gameplay as you can see, just two million here and there, you know, mild inconvenience. And of course I have the adder for those that actually know Elite Dangerous. The reason why I have the adder is because, well, adder funny. And I do like doing commodity market the most. So it's it's not the most interesting gameplay loop. Let me give it like that. I'm not exactly a combat man, but Oh, consumed by terraforming and agriculture. I don't even know where I'm going next. But consumed by a military and made by... Okay, galactic average is bad. Mm, let's see something we can make a definite profit on. Uh, microcontrollers. It's consumed by industrial and military. So let's just... Oh, wait, my current capacity is full. Of what? Uh, what did I buy? Let's check. Uh... Yeah, I'm very used to controls, right. Mm, inventory. Consumer technology with a galactic average of... Uh, okay, so it's a high... Uh, it's basically a consumer technology. Right. Well, there is... Oh, the fuel rats. There was a fuel rats out there. Oh, yes. I have actually used fuel rats once. But yes, uh, commodities. We have consumer electronics and everything besides high-tech. We'll use it. Uh, let's just go to the galaxy map real quick and uh, see if we can maybe sell them somewhere for profit. <laughs> because the most interesting thing in this game, for me at least, is the exploration aspect. Uh, can I get the market? It's economics is industrial and military, which is perfect because it would use those kinds of electronics. Is there also something that is more akin to an average, ooh, there's an economic boom there, meaning a lot of more people would buy. Uh, population is higher, so that means more money. And it's farther. So let's plot a route. It's gonna be one jump away. And in this game, uh, the, it's not dependent on what kind of uh, distance you travel for money, like, for example, other games that I know. Instead, it's literally based entirely on what you can achieve and what you transport. So, on Alpha Launch... Uh, Ship restraints retracted. Access corridor is clear. Yes, big, uh, big other gameplay. And of course we get lovely classical music. As we leave the station, or rather the up panel of the station. It's beautiful. Right. <clears throat> Getting uh, ready. We're in the Empire territory. Oh, patronage. That's interesting. Auto launch complete. Perfect. I totally remember how to play. Observe no fire restrictions. Yes, no fire restrictions. Oh, I have hard points. I didn't notice. Right. Uh, I forgot how to play. But don't worry. It's gonna be okay because. Yes. Right. Frameshift drive charging. Frameshift drive. Lovely. Now this is where the game comes in because it's like... Way ahead is clear. Safe travels, Commander. Safe travels to you too, Liz, my port. Anyway, frameshift drive. So let us... Uh, Four, three, the sound two, is a little bit one, fucked. It sometimes eight. does that for me. Ah, it's getting back. Lovely. But yes, uh, let's go to another place. Sell our stuff and show you the peak uh, hauler gameplay. Oh, that's a star. Right. Eh, how much fuel did we lose? Not a lot. Fuel scooping. Right. While we're scooping the fuel, let me just um, let me just do this real quick. Go to this mode. Ooh. 
Okay, so that system is discovered. That's fine by me. Uh, Uh, let's get away from the star because it might be a little cold. I mean, a little hot rather. Fuel scoop disengaged. Perfect. Right. Uh, stop it down. Right. What do we have? Navigation. Uh, let's see system map. Let's see what do we even have. What stations? Because this is a loading simulation. Yes. So we have a end date enterprise hub, and we have lots of other Richard Landing Jackson hub. Okay. Yeah. Let's. Uh, Let's set a target there and uh, go to the main hub. It is located. Let's get speed up a little there. Right. And now comes the B collar gameplay. I'll speed up at maximum. Right. Unlock my head because you can have to do that. We're going to be there in seven minutes. So, what I'm gonna do is do a funny find the station where I'm going at mm, this one and uh, peak gameplay basically turn on autopilot get the system find destination put an autopilot and sip coffee oh I'm in here <laughs> yep right now we have to get in range of them, that enterprises. Yeah, that boost sound is important for some reason. Right. Uh, contacts. Request talking. Auto talking in progress. Yep. Imperial facility. Please follow all docking regulations and fly safely. Permission has been approved. Please continue to bay 4-2. 4 2. You're using my boost. Oh, I wanted to. Oh, it's so automatic, I cannot even. Oh, it's so automatic, I cannot even do my systems. Uh, because with arrow keys here, you can actually put power to different systems. So it's very like Star Trek -y in that way. But hey, it's enjoyable because guess what? You can actually boost your damage output. You can boost a lot of things that you need. For example, I usually fly with full systems, full uh, engines, like full engines rather, and like health systems, but we take everything away from weapons because I don't need weapons. Ah, oh, beautiful. This, it never gets old, this, you know? This, they're going into the station. Well, they are going into the station. I'm just sitting here and... Uh, it's like a nice cup of coffee. Perfect number. Right, and give me 15 credits. Refueling, uh, starboard services, of course. You are on deck. Initiate shutdown sequence. I don't want us to initiate. Right, let's sell. And we are actually losing money if we do it. Ooh, that is sad. But. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right. Because, ooh, actually. Wait. We're making 12,000 in profit. But it's also consumed by, uh, 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 look at that, 7,600 credits in Alano, which is, okay, apparently, these are produced by, but the Richard the Landing pays a lot more for the unit, and it's in the same system, so, Rich the Marking, yeah, Rich the Landing, that's what it's called, right. So instead of selling here, we're gonna do pull a funny, go to navigation and find the Richard, is, uh, Richard the Landing or whatever. I did see it first, remember when I, yeah, there it is, uh, lock that destination and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it here, there's a shipyard. Let's uh, just in case look what is in the shipyards, I'm actually curious about where the ships are, Sidewinder, Hauler, uh, Imperial Eagle, not, no. Cobra Mark uh, Type 6 transport. Seems interesting, but it's slow. And I've heard a lot of bad things about it. Beluga liner. Hmm. Right. So, interesting options, interesting options. But uh, I'm going to auto launch once more and go to the Richie Rich landing because it has a 7,000 per unit per ton uh, cost. Now 
be gameplay, right? I mean, this is literally what Elite Dangerous for me is, an ability to push ahead and go towards bigger, better, and way, way more fun. As it's kind of relaxing, to say the least. It's a space game. I mean, of course, everything outside of this canopy is deadly. <laughs> like, space is the deadliest thing to exist, like, ever. And I'm just kind of chilling. Right, out to lunch complete. Uh, where is my destination? I'm still mass locked, so I can't get into the frame shift, which is kind of sad. Regulate speed and prepare for heavy oncoming traffic. Ah, oh, there it is. Full engine power, which means my speed is tons of Yes, charge and frame shift, try to reach a landing. And I never get out of this voice. Beautiful. Right, and uh, Super Cruiser says, let's go. Give ourselves an orbital plane and um, back to Galactic News. <laughs> Literally, yeah, this is what this is the peak gameplay. Literally, uh, comment. Yeah, what do we have? Uh, we have. I'm gonna add that to playlist because I want to hear what it is. Let's listen to this one. Catastrophic earthquake strike rear three. A series of high magnitude earthquakes on the planet Rhea 3 have caused widespread devastation and millions of casualties. Massive seismic activity across the northern continent has effectively shattered dozens of towns and cities, including the capital New Greenacre. The intense tremors also triggered tsunamis in the surrounding oceans, which have wrecked coastal regions on other land masses. Local journalist Len Canelli published a summary for Vox Galactica. The only disaster on this scale that we've seen in Rhea was when NML the terrorists bombed Ito Orbital. This time, however, the death toll could run into tens of millions. Urban skylines have crumbled like sandcastles, with vast jagged pits opening up to swallow entire neighborhoods. Federal Liberal Command has declared the highest state of emergency, calling for volunteers to help rescue trapped citizens. We're seeing direct support from other factions in the system, and Federal Navy specialists are coordinating relief efforts. The humanitarian organization Safeguard Interstellar is also here in force, providing supplies and temporary shelters for survivors. Sophia Trevino, political correspondent for the Federal Times, reported, As soon as this news broke, President-elect Felicia Winters, a native of Rhea 3 and the system's representative in Congress immediately cancelled her schedule and travelled to her homeworld. Unverified reports claim that contact has been lost with members of her family, most of whom lived in the capital. Speculation has already begun that this might cause further delays to the beginning of Winters' term of office. Vice President-elect Isolde Rochester made a statement asking for patience, claiming, Our focus right now should be on aiding those affected by this tragedy. Cool. That, uh, not, not the fact that a million people died, no, that's not cool. But the fact that I could, basically, with this, this is a political situation. There is someone, uh, the Winters was a power player, uh, aka in the Galactic Power section, if I look at it. Uh, yeah, in the Galactic Power section. Meaning that her uh, power play options are now weaker, politically speaking. Thusly, if you make a faction in this game, uh, power playing her is not exactly the most uh, happiest thing to do. So, and they require like liners. Like, I remember when I saw the blue liners and stuff? If I had a ship like that, I could go to Ria 3 right now and get massive amounts of profit by ferrying people off world or giving them supplies. Uh, like terraform supplies from other worlds that do produce them. So now I have to find Ria 3 and in this ship I could make a massive profit. The thing is this news is like uh, landing gear deployed. Yes, landing gear deployed, lovely. Uh, this news, taken as 14th of February, is old. How old? It's yesterday's news, literally. But space stuff doesn't go that fast. So, Ria Tree. Where is Ria Tree? Good question. Because I am interested in the process. 
Engines disengaged. Engines disengaged. Lovely. I think that's what the fuel nothing bad. Starport services. Uh, right. Richie landing. Yes. Uh, commodities. Uh, sell my stuff. Oh yes, baby. Oh yes. Fourteen thousand profit. Beautiful. Now this is what I like saying. What? Hmm. Now is the question, where is Ria 3? Because I could get something from this industrial world, or this industrial station, do there. So, Ria 3, uh, galaxy map. Let's see. No results found. Why not? Uh, it's literally in the news. Huh? Ria, oh, it's a soul system. Actually. Yeah, natural disaster, look. Can I even get there without getting shot down? Yeah, I okay. It's how many uh, distance away? It's 16 jumps away. Okay, so it's uh, 88 light years away from me. Okay, you know, while I'm already going there, might buy something. Um, uh, commodity market. I only have 16 tons of space, which is a lot. But something that the industrial place can make is machinery. Yeah, geological equipment, building fabricators. I'm pretty sure Ria system will definitely need building fabricators at the moment. That's just a hunch. So I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna set like six tons of building fabricators. Marine equipment, mineral extractors, power generators, schematic computer, term cooling, work purifiers, basic medicines. I mean, definitely medicine uh, carrying is useful as well. And then I have, uh, no, I don't want slaves. Who the hell would even sell slaves like that? And why is it in a cargo section? Produced by agricultural. <laughs> so many questions. But, um,. Um, you know what, let's get food cartridges instead. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Lovely. Uh, right, on to launch, and now comes the biggest trip. Basically, this is the long distance hauler thing. I just uploaded with the random stuff that I think they would use uh, in a natural environment. Ship released. Ship released. Perfect. Please see your unauthorized scan immediately. Uh, no. I don't even know how to scan ships. I haven't played this enough. Uh, like I said, I go point to point. This is my job <laughs> right now. Right, auto launch complete. Lovely. Let's get the hell out. So that's the sector we need to get to. And one more speed and one more boost might actually help. Frame shift drive charging. Yep, frame shift drive charging. To unadapt the system. In that Orion's world, let's go. It takes one year, but the funny thing is, in this game, you could literally, right now, I could start flying and get there in one year. Like, with this speed, efficient, right now. It would literally just, I can literally drive with the, the, with the Super Cruise to another star system. It just takes a little bit of a time. Frame shift drive is just a uh, skip. Aww. I hate these stars. Why? You can't get fuel from them. Right. Discover cruise sector. Wait, nobody else discovered this? Huh? Will you look at that? Will you look at that? Okay. Uh huh. I discovered a planet. Nice. I mean, there has to be more, right? Yeah. What did they discover? Ice body. Cool. And yeah, this is another part of the game that I really love, is this ability to find planet boys. I mean, there's only ice planets here, because that's what the signals say. Energy tuning failed. Is it because it's not a planet? Yep. However, this one seems to be. Let's tune the energy field spectral analysis to be more... Uh -huh. Rock, metal, ice, yeah, that's wonderful. And that is a bigger one. So, oh, look at those two are orbiting each other. Interesting. Anything more? Oh, there has to be more. I'm only 77% done. 
Are there ice body? Yep. There has to be more. This can't be it. Oh. Another system one. Scan complete. System scan complete. Perfect. And now, why did I scan the system? Well, simply put, it can give me bonuses. How? By the fact that if I scan systems and get like analysis, if I fully scan the system, I can further away, let's say 50 light years away. They don't know that this system's map, so I sell it in a cartography office. So it's like a bonus to the money. It, it can only get like 200,000, something like that. Like, okay, I made 16,000 profit right now, but overall the money I still have in my bank account is uh, moving. Uh, what was it again? Uh, how much was my uh, never mind. Ugh, another one of those stars. Okay, let's see here. Scanned. Apparently we scanned everything here. Okay, so there's only 10 battery bodies. Re-up! Here I come with uh, preparations for your natural disaster as a relief effort. And lots of supplies that you can buy for extravagant amount of money. I'm not running a charity here. I'm running a I'm running a ship here. Uh, la, 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 la. Right. Ria three. It said in the news. Right. Was it Ria three? Yeah, Ria three. Catastrophic strike at Ria three. Right. Ooh, that was a lovely music. What was that for? All right, uh, uh, Ria 3, USC is Ishimura, Ishimura is there. Home 1, don't land on me. Why is there so many fleet carriers here? Void Jumper, the Cat's Cradle, Compensator, Fram, Revolt, Cortez, Flagship, Unidentified Carrier, Horizon, Unidentified. EDF, USS Hyperion, Battleship 22460, Survivor, Confucian, Wow, why? there is so many fleet carriers. Whew. Yes, I will align with the target destination once I've gotten fuel. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. Finally, took a while. Right. Ria 3, here we go. Super Cruise Assist, and back to peak hauler gameplay. Or, well, trader, merchant? Hmm, what would be the other uh, words to uh, avoid saying what we're actually doing? <laughs> yes. Oh, hi, hi, Torbidal. Uh, you are right, buddy. And look around of vast nothingness, this pure, empty, absolute emptiness. Oh look, the station. That is a big, that is one of the bigger stations I've seen. That's a few rats. And again. That is good. Right. Starboard services. Landing Power down system. Right. So there is uh, something going on here. Uh, commodities, agriculture. Let's see if they will sell uh, or buy my stuff. Yes, they do. With a very low price for some reason. Except basic medicines, which currently are in high profit. I should have so hmm, I should have bought more medicines rather than surface stuff. Rock layering. 
apparently is also consuming them and Lorenz leisure site is gonna buy them up quickly. Alright. So let's check what missions there are. I don't have passengers unfortunately. Right. What do we have as a mission in this uh, infested uh, in this uh, natural disaster world? Easter even. Huh. Really? That is sad. I was kind of hoping there would be more missions and stuff pertaining to the fact that there is a huge natural disaster going on. Well, Universal Cut for Graphics. That's what I was talking about before. So, let's see. How much data can I sell? Yeah. Apparently only a half a million worth of data. Incoming message. Incoming message. Grand command, recognition of the recent accomplishments. Surveyor? Oh wow! I got a rank up! I'm an explorer rank surveyor! So yeah, it works for me, you know. Well then, starboard services, is there something that I can buy here that would be eaten up by... Also the... By the Lawrence Leisure site. Damn, there is nothing here. Well, what shipyards do we have then? Should be more ships here. Dolphin. I kind of want Dolphin at the moment, but I'm not, not yet. Right. Uh, let's check commodities market. Which one was the one that bought, bought this for the higher price? Uh... This is double the price. Let's see, Lorenz Leisure Site. All right. Uh, navigation. Launch. On the launch, and let's get there. It's 2.11 k ls away from my door, but that's sad. Landing gear retracted. Ship release. Regulate speed until clear of exclusion zone. You regulate speed. All right. Waiting in queue. Yep, busy stations. Uh, usually, yeah, waiting in queue. It has happened only a few times before because I've never been so far in the bubble. But like, yeah. At uh, four minutes. Okay, good. Oh, that's a, that's a liner. Which one is that? It's a beluga liner. Majestic. Right. Hmm? It says orbiting. Where is it? How do I lose a planet? Huh? Where is the planet? Oh my god, this is... I lost a planet. That's... that's embarrassing. Orbital flight engaged. I don't think the game liked my approach to this station a lot. Oh, glide engage, thank god. Glide is nice. Docking request granted. <sighs> Lines are stressful. Welcome back, Finder. Docking quest is granted. Thank you, Lawrence. Okay. 
Right, commodities market tourism. Sounds interesting. There is nothing I can buy here. Oh, they don't want food cultures. Right, they wanted something else. Uh, they wanted these things. Building fabricators. With some profit. Right, food cultures. They do not want it, but Bo Broccoli Ring wants it. Is there something that uh, Broccoli, links, uh, Broccoli Ring wants more as well? No. Alright. Well, that was a waste of everything. Uh... Let's uh, auto launch. Landing gear retracted. Ship released. Engines engaged. Yeah, let's leave. It did say something about broccoli link, so let's get that. Landing gear deployed. Oh god, that's a way to land. Yeah, sure. That's mmm. <laughs> Me on a menu. Don't text and drive, kids. Little, don't text and drive. That's <laughs> not a good idea. Ah, I just nearly crashed him. But one thing I do want to say is like, I am kind of low key disappointed over the fact that uh, Ria's. Uh, I couldn't sell all the stuff at Ria 3 because there was like no way to sell them there. But yeah, did I find something else that I can sell? No. All right, exit that real quick and get into the starport. Right, so this has been Elite Dangerous. I did like a couple of hauling trips and that's pretty much this entire video. Literally to show how uh, traders or merchants life is. It uh, was interesting. I am still kind of salty about not being able to go to Ria directly, but hey, it is what it is. So, I still made a profit decently today, Let, let's see, 3.4 million, yeah, out of uh, 2.8 that I started, so, yeah, a little bit over a half a million, not a bad profit whatsoever. But, yes, uh, my favorite game, honestly, one of them, favorite space sims, there are others, but I don't have the name on top of my head, so, mm -mm. anyway. Thank you everyone for watching, thank you everyone for being here today, it's been, it's wonderful to be back, and uh, yeah, uh, next time I'll do some other game, unless you want me to uh, continually dangerous, in which case, leave it in the comments. So again, thank you all for watching and being here, I've been Ethereal, do the network, and until next time, over and out.